Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's a new month, so it's time to talk sneakers again. We're going to be talking about the upcoming releases for March. But before I get into that, I do want to show my pickups for last month. A lot of these were gifts because my birthday was in January, so I didn't show these in my last sneaker talk video. The first pair of shoes I want to show are these Vans. And these are the Old School Retro Sport in the color Sea Spray. And these are a size 6 half. And that's how these look. What I did like about these were is that the tongue of them are white and this part actually did come laced. I got these from Rock City Kicks. My sister got these for my birthday. So this is your typical van. It's like a mint green color. Next pair of shoes are these Vans checkerboard slides. I have been eyeing these for a long time and I just wanted to get my hands on them. My best friend actually got me a pair of shoes for my birthday but they were the wrong size so I did have to exchange them. They didn't have my size in those so I did just pick up these Vans and then I picked up a Vans t-shirt. But that's just how they look. Up close look at them and I just love the vinyl feel of them. These are, I tried these, I actually tried these on in the store because I didn't know if I should get an 8 or a 9. I did go with the 9 in women just because they're a little, have a little bit more room in them. The next shoes I got are a pair of Jordans and if you follow my social media then you know what these are. I got them in the six half youth and I have been wanting these shoes for years. So to say that I was happy is an understatement but these are the black cement threes. I finally got my hands on them. For one, I just love the quality of this shoe. You just the leather on the leather on it is just so soft. And this is a pretty good quality shoe for it to be grade school. I can admit it. I did watch some comparison videos of grade school versus the men's shoe. And I will say that they didn't really skimp us this time. Yeah, I haven't worn these shoes yet. I picked these up on February 17th. So that's just how they look. And I didn't get a six half in these. I think my other pair of threes I have are six. But um, with the newer with the newer releases, I do feel as though these do run a little bit smaller. They're cut a little bit smaller. So I do go up a half size in certain Jordans now. So that is probably like my favorite pickup of last month. And another pickup, which I talked about in my sneaker talk video, I wasn't really planning on grabbing these. Well, the reason why I grabbed these was because I was going to end, I ended up wanting the bread toe Jordan 1s, which I should have entered the raffle for them because that would have been kind of like a guaranteed pair for me because I typically win raffles that I enter. But I didn't enter it and I kind of slept on it a little bit. I didn't realize that it was going to be such a big release, so I didn't end up grabbing those, but... Not to say that I won in the future. I just haven't got them yet. I did try to get the Jordan 8s. The Valentine's Day um, shoes for women. The uh, red pair of 8s. But yeah. It was a, it was a loss. <laughs> they released through the sneakers app. I tried to get them. Tried to put them in my car. Did the whole waiting around. Didn't get them. Went back on there. The only sizes that were available were like a 12, 13, 11. Somewhat, something like that. So I said Oh well, I lost. But I wasn't too upset about them because I'm like, I wasn't completely sold on them. I knew I wanted them, but I wasn't completely sold. But the next pair of shoes I got are some shoes that so many people were going crazy over. Them. Two different colorways released. I chose to get this colorway. And these are the Vapor Max Plus. But I chose to get this colorway just because I feel like I could do more with it. I feel like I can find more things to match it because I can. I was a burgundy, blue, purple with them, black. The other pair had like, like this bright yellow, bright blue, and orange in it. But I did mention these briefly in my last sneaker talk video, and yeah, I'm glad I got my hands on them. I'm pretty sure they're sold out everywhere now. I didn't like post these on anything yet, so I may you know post them on my social media. But that's just. A close up of how they look. I did grab these from sneakers and stuff. So it came with this little pamphlet with it. And it just says thank you for shopping at sneakers, sneakers and stuff. This is my first time ever purchasing from there. I will be purchasing from there in the future. Just because I feel as though the shipping was pretty fast. I think I ordered these on like a Monday and I got them either that Wednesday or Thursday. So 
it was a pretty good transaction overall customer service was great but it just says air vapor max plus on the tongue here black laces haven't worn these yet either but i can't wait to rock them yeah dope shoe um from what i can see these are extremely comfortable i've heard great things about the vapor max shoes being comfortable and that pretty much wraps up my pickups of last month so let's just get right into the sneaker releases for the month of march the shoes i'm going to talk about are the hyper royal air jordan 13s that came out last weekend i didn't end up grabbing them i'm just not a huge fan of those i think they're a decent shoe but it wasn't a shoe that i feel like i had to have but i can see why like a lot of people want them i don't think they sold out though like i think they probably are still sitting on shelves but i hadn't really checked them out to see if they are some shoes that are coming out this weekend that I have seen a lot of people going crazy over are the Vapor Max um, Air Max 97s. So the ones I had are the Vapor Max Plus, the, the Air Max Plus Vapor Max. But these basically are have the top part of the Air Max 97 and the bottom is a Vapor Max sole. And I think I really like the colorway of them. I doubt I try to grab them. I don't even know if they're going to release like in a full size run. But I doubt I try to grab them. Um... I do see that I do see it selling out because it looks like it's going to be a pretty hyped up release but just for me it's going to be probably a shoes are the Air Max 98s these are the vibrant air Air Max 98s and they are extremely colorful I love the colors in this shoe I did see a lot of places got them last month but I think the official release date is this weekend coming up so I'm thinking maybe it's going to release some more outlets but they kind of have already did a soft release of them but yeah I like them they're teal purple orange and then the Nike sign on it is yellow but I really like them I probably would say cop for me but I don't think they release in my size I think they just release in men's sizes so more than likely I'm not going to be able to grab them but I do like this shoe a lot like I really think it's a dope shoe also coming out this weekend this weekend has a lot of the releases I didn't even realize till I got a chance to actually look through my release calendar but um yeah the bread air joint nines are coming out I like those I don't know if I'm going to get them just because I haven't been really feeling a lot of air joint nines recently but I do like the silhouette so I may grab them not really sure if I will but I may I I don't have a whole lot of all black shoes which these are not all well they're pretty much all black with the red jump man on it but yeah maybe perhaps I don't see myself grabbing a whole lot this month if I do grab some things this month it's probably gonna be me reaching back grabbing stuff that I wanted to get last month or last year things like that for my women even though I wasn't feeling these whatsoever I think the consensus was it was a no but yeah just for purposes of it being International Women's Day and these releasing today I'm gonna talk about the Air Jordan 1 zip um, shoes it came out in a white color like all white then it came out in all black with a white so um, I wasn't feeling them at all so basically how it looks is it has like it zips up so it doesn't have laces and it doesn't have it doesn't have like a Nike sign or anything on it but I'm just like I see where y'all are going with the kind of futuristic look but I can't really get with it like I don't understand why would we want some shoes that zip like no <laughs> it's enough for me but I mean I do think it's good that they are doing more shoes geared towards women. Hopefully more come, but those were a no for me. I wasn't feeling those at all. So this weekend, some shoes that I know I'm not going to be able to get my hands on, but why not talk about them? And that they are the Wave Runners, the Yeezy Wave Runners. I like these shoes. I wanted them when they first released. This is a restock of them, but yeah, I haven't had much luck with any Yeezys, so I'm not like pressed about them but yeah i do like them they do re-release this weekend i have entered like a couple of raffles online i never win raffles online which is crazy i can win a raffle in the store more easily than i can online but 
yeah so i guess fingers crossed i don't really think i'm gonna win it but we shall see oh, also let me mention air max day which is um gonna be march 26th and the step the self wider spoons i think i'm pronouncing it correctly are releasing that's gonna be an extremely hype release i highly doubt that i'll be able to get my hands on it on those just because they're gonna be so hyped up but they are dope i do like them a whole lot but yeah i've been seeing them since I want to say since January or even last year, the pictures and like the teaser pics of them. So they're finally releasing. Um, what are your favorite Air Max? Just a question. Mine, I think, are the Air Max. Hmm. I like I like the 95s and the 97s. I like the 98s too. I want to get my hands on a pair of 98s. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. But um, and I like the Air Max 93s. I like the 96s, but um, I think I'm going to go with the 97s or the 95s as my faves. Just because I have, I actually own pairs of those. They are comfortable. So, yeah, the 95s and 97s would be my faves. I did used to like the Air Max 90s. Those were like some of my faves back in the day. Okay, the Air Jordan 3 Tinker Hatfield. I guess I should talk about those just because... I'm not feeling those. A lot of people, I've been seeing mixed reviews for them. Because when they first did the pics of them, a lot of people was like, no, no. Why would they do this? Why would they do this to the shoe? Because it's basically the Air Jordan 3, but they put a Nike sign on it. And I don't get why. <laughs> I'm not feeling them at all. I mean, I get why they put the Nike sign, but I'm not feeling the look of it. I really just think it kind of ruins the shoe. But now I've been seeing a lot of people, which, I mean, will hype and just shoes in general um it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna be those oh i like them now i changed my mind type of situation but i still feel the same way about them i would think i don't think that i like them at all but yeah they're coming out i think on the 24th sometime in this month um pretty sure it's gonna be a limited edition limited release type of shoe but what are you all thoughts on them? I don't like them me for just me personally. Next precious I want to talk about are the Game Royal Jordan 1s. I do kind of like this shoe. I've been seeing a lot of people, as more picks get released of them, say that they are thinking about copying them. Just me personally, I probably won't, but I kind of like them. I own the Jordan, um, Air Jordan Royal 1s already, so I'm content with those. I do like those. I can see why people would grab them, but just for me, it's going to more than likely be a no. Always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next month. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.